Uh, I, I, will, I will talk about the role of uh, scientists, fishermen, and uh, administration, uh, and their relationships regarding, and the role, uh, relationship regarding the, the, <clears throat> the management of, of fisheries in the, in the Mediterranean. The, the current or the recent situation of the, <clears throat> uh, of the management in the Mediterranean is, is, is really not very nice because uh, the management has been in recent times more reactive than proactive. So uh, administration do nothing until a, a problem uh, appears and uh, so they react to that. <clears throat> and also uh, there is a strong relationship between fishermen administrations, uh, normally through the lobbies of different um, different uh, um, societies of fishermen, with a very feeble connection with the scientists. The scientists are normally in a corner, and uh, when they need some scientific report, they call them. And uh, but uh, usually they uh, they are not involved in the in the. Uh, I, I'm 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 talking about my my own experience. So um, um, I don't know if uh, in uh, all parts of the Mediterranean is like that. And uh, I have to say that uh, in in many in many management uh, actions implemented, um, there is not traces. There is not signal of the. Of the of the science behind, normally decisions, management decisions, are based on short-term uh, socio-economic issues. So uh, there is a research, there is an assessment of stocks, there is many times an advice, and the, finally the management the the. Is not clear in all this process. Um, uh, perhaps the, the the science behind is is, lo is lost in the in the path. Um, I will tell you three stories uh, that I I know. Two of them I know well. Mm, the other one, the first one. Uh, happened 50 years ago, so I, I was not in, in position to, <laughs> to work directly in it, and uh, 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 that are the, 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 the Castello troll, trolling project here, the first one. The second one is the creation of the fishing restricted area in the Gulf of Lions, and the third one is the uh, Sandhill fishery in Catalonia. What about the Castelló trolling project? This uh, was uh, developed in this, in this area. I have to say that this area uh, corresponds to the, 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 wide, the widest uh, shelf in the, in the Spanish Mediterranean and uh, affected uh, several uh, ports in, in this area. 50 years ago, as I said, so the fleet was um, of this, of this uh, shape. What was the problem? The problem was that after the, uh, uh, the, civil, the Spanish Civil War, uh, the, and some years after, the, um, the yield, the catches, decreased decrease on uh, very 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 clearly uh, while the effort increased from uh, five times more or less five times from here more or less to here uh, and the CPUE uh, dropped from to uh, and four kilos by by horsepower to 0.2 uh, 
kilograms um, horsepower. So the fisherman got a problem, get a problem, and uh, uh, they ask they ask for they ask for uh, a solution to the scientists and to the administration. So uh, a, a, a meeting of four um, uh, groups, so the, uh, the fishermen, the, the syndicatos that were the Frankish tra uh, trade unions that were very powerful in, in, during the dictatorship, uh, authorities uh, of the um, administrative uh, and uh, scientists, and they developed a project. In 1961, the rules were a closure, a closure of uh, from 1st of May to 30th September, 36 millimeters of mesh size, but these rules not always were enforced. And uh, the project was to reduce the time at sea, two hours per day, and and eliminate the fishing on Saturday. And this, uh, I think this is the only thing that has remained of this project. Since then, uh, in Saturday in Spain, uh, is, uh, there are no fishing activity. They implement uh, more time closures, <clears throat> uh, different, more adapted to the species, the target species, and they also developed some uh, death Closures. So was forbidden to uh, fish uh, at, 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 at water shallow, shallower than 30 meters or 50 meters uh, according to the season. Well, in five years, the results were quite, quite spectacular. The landed weight at the end of the project was 21% higher. The CPUA uh, increased 47%, and the economic yield by boat and day after price correction increased 67%. What happened there? So uh, it seems that uh, every um, every uh, stakeholder say, uh, lose the interest in uh, continuing the the. The, the experience. So fishermen were happy, and uh, and this was stopped. The monitoring was stopped. Surveillance relaxed. Closures disappear, and the message decreased again. And this was the uh, sad end of this story. Uh, my second story is the. Uh, fisher restricted area in the Gulf of Lions. Uh, FRA is the is uh, the MPA in the uh, GFCM jargon, and uh, this regards to this area here. And uh, the, uh, the problem was the following: in uh, two thousand and seven. Uh, an experimental troll survey carried out by the Instituto Español de Oceanografía in the slope of the eastern Gulf of Lyon found a zone um, in a very good condition that was uh, slightly exploited with a quite mature demersal community, also refugium of, uh, of uh, mega spawners. And uh, probably due to the, for sure, no, probably, more than probably, uh, it was a, a, um, a, a producer of recruits uh, to the Gulf of Lions, to the rest of the Gulf of Lions, and to the Catalan coast, recruits for this uh, species. And this zone was in danger of increasing exploitation why? Because uh, because fishermen know more or less know them know it, know it and uh, they uh, have uh, very um, interest in, in going there. It's a, a little bit far from Spain, but is is close to France. 
and uh, um, a, 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 a group of uh, Sp uh, French and Spanish scientists meet, and uh, we we plan to protect to um, to plan to protect the the zone in order to conserve the, the Marshall community, um, the, especially the spawners. So um, the idea was a, uh, uh, a spawners, a spawners uh, protected area, also the uh, habitats, and uh, also, um, by the way, the trophic webs. Um, as I said before, the effect of protecting the, the zone would create, uh, uh, we would um, reinforce the supply of recruits of the main target species to the, to the west of Gulf of Lions in, 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 in Catalonia, and um, also uh, maintain the ecosystem. Uh, what would be the consequences of the no protection? Um, probably the, the community of mega spawners um, fall under the risk of, uh, of, being, of being caught legally. Uh, because at the moment uh, we planned that uh, this war was in uh, international waters. Uh, a very high risk of recruitment overfishing, that is, uh, is the, the worst overfishing. And uh, probably some a few fishermen would get uh, important earnings at short term. Uh, and uh, so we, the scientists, so in this case the originator were the scientists in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, first story were the fishermen. The scientists, we proposed to the GFCM uh, exactly this, prohibit any kind of demersal fishing, taut or not, including troll, uh, troll gears, bottom and midwater long lines, bottom nets, gill nets, tremel nets, traps, etc. After very, very uh, difficult negotiations in the GFCM, it was approved, this text, adopted by GFCM. The fishing effort for the Marcel stocks of vessels using tow nets, bottom and mid lines, bottom set nets, shall, shall not exceed the level of fishing effort applied in 2008 in the fishery restricted area of Eastern Gulf of Lions. So, uh, was more or less approved. Uh, really, the lobbies of fishermen, Spanish and French fishermen, put a, a big pressure on the European uh, um, delegation uh, to not accept the, uh, the, to close this area. And five years later, this was in 2008, we have no information about the effort that was applied in 2008, and monitoring and control are non-existent. So this is another case of sad end of the story. Well, it's not an end, strictly, because we are waiting still for uh, the implementation. The third story is uh, started uh, in the last year, and this ongoing, refers to sandhill fishery in Catalonia. Uh, this is the species, Gymnamoditus uh, chiseralus. And uh, this is a very traditional fishery in Catalonia, not very important, really, because uh, uh, no more than uh, 800 tons per year uh, <coughs> is uh, fished, this species, using, using boat chains. Uh, we there are reports in uh, from <coughs> from 189 <coughs> by de la Roche <coughs> that found uh, sand deals in the market of Barcelona and uh, well this is a very long tradition of this fishery what was the problem the problem was that in in 2006 
the um, European uh, Council uh, produced a regulation uh, the, uh, 1977 uh, 67, uh, 66, that um, that uh, the mesh size is limited and also the 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 distance to the coast and the depth and for use of towed gears and they considered that that uh, both chains are towed gears so uh, so some derogations uh, of these articles are necessary in order to allow to continue this fishing well there was there were a, a a lot of uh, problems regarding the asking for derogations, etc. I will not enter. Uh, and uh, finally, in uh, last year, in 2012, um, um, the, the, this fishery became illegal, non-legal or illegal. I don't know exactly what. But uh, the uh, fishermen were, were not allowed to fish uh, sand eel. So, um, rapidly, uh, the fishermen asked for, for, uh, for help, <clears throat> and a co-management committee was created with this composition. The Autonomous Government of Catalonia, the central government, so Madrid, fishermen, sand eel fishermen, NGOs, WWF and uh, Greenpeace, and uh, scientists of, the, uh, of my institute. And uh, this co-management was created with a very, uh, very good collaboration between all the actors, with the objective of guarantee the long-term sustainability of the fishery and limit the impact on the ecosystem by carrying out all the needed actions for the purpose. So this, uh, this involves the, the design of and execution of a scientific study the, uh, um, the, to propose uh, the harvest control rules of the fishery and the close monitoring. Uh, this is, is working very well so far. Uh, we meet uh, once a month to analyze all the indicators uh, of the fishery and to um, adopt decisions and um, modifying in on, 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 on real time uh, the, the management, uh, some, some uh, small management measures. Uh, I have to say that this committee of co-management uh, was recognized with the WWF Conservation Award in 2000, th this year. So. Well, um, this uh, we developed a scientific fishery. This is some uh, some uh, uh, characteristics of the scientific fishery. We reduced the effort to the half of the original effort. Uh, uh, it's important to say that uh, the detailed log books of the fishermen uh, given position uh, of the holes, uh, catch per holes, by catch, etc. We, we made also sampling on board four times a month. We established a TAC and a, a quota by boat and day that is uh, adaptive uh, month to month. Well, uh, this month we have submitted this management plan to the, to the European Commission, including uh, these proposals, uh, TAC by season, effort, limitation, harvest control rules based on daily quotas, and the continuity of uh, the co-management committee. Uh, this is uh, the, 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 the end is not sad, not yet. Uh, I, we hope that, uh, okay, uh, I'm, I'm, so uh, in general, not, not for, for the Sandil, but in general, I, I would like to present 
three conclusions, only three conclusions, that the involvement of fishermen seems the only way to achieve the efficient management. If the fishers are not involved, it's very difficult uh, to manage the fishery. Uh, the fishers must clearly perceive or even suffer the problem in order to become aware of the need of management. In the second example, uh, in the second example, fishers were, are not aware of that, and we were against the creation of the of the fishery restricted area. And also, the administrations must be proactive in creating and promoting collaboration with scientists, not only uh, when. Uh, when there is a, a rush. And let me finish my presentation with a quotation of the late Professor Margalef in his book of Our Biosphere. He, Professor Margalef, said, fisheries biology has not been very successful in the job that the grant agencies assigned it to it. Perhaps it was, and it is, a hopeless enterprise. Anyway, the job to be done was never precisely described or never produced the recommendations that politicians wanted to her. Thank you. <laughs>